Well, the fun hasn't stopped because if you've already added your two cups of flour, the next thing that you can do is make some salt dough with that flour. I'm gonna add my two cups of flour into a bowl. I'm gonna add one cup of salt. I'm gonna add one cup of lukewarm water. <clears throat> Here's where things get fun and messy. down a surface that I can knead on. I use a Silpat pad, but if you don't have that, you can use the surface of your kitchen table or a kitchen counter, anywhere that's easy to wipe down. <clears throat> now I'm gonna go in with my washed hands I wet my hands, I got some soap on my hands, and then I did my ABCs just like we do in class. Then I rinsed off my hands and I dried them with a paper towel. Or if you have a kitchen cloth that gets laundered, you can use that too. All right, my friends, here goes the messy part. We're going to knead this up for five minutes and feel the squishy funness of it. The more you knead it, the smoother this dough will get. You can also add color into this recipe with food coloring or coffee grounds. After mom has made her third cup of coffee for the day. You could use the grounds of her coffee to, to put into your salt dough and color the dough. Whatever you have on hand. <clears throat> I'm gonna leave mine just plain because I think it's fine the way it is. So I've got it in a pretty good consistency. I've got it in a ball right now. <clears throat> and now I can bring it on to my Silpat board and I can knead it. And kneading it, it's kind of like folding the dough in on itself. And you can just play around with it and it helps all of the ingredients that we put in, the flour and the lukewarm water and the salt to mix together a little bit better. See, when we first introduce them, it's like when you're meeting your friends for the first time. They're kind of shy and they don't know each other yet. But I've just suggested a cool game to them and they are becoming fast buddies. And the more that they play together, the more tightly their friendship becomes. So the more that I knead this mixture together, the salt dough, the smoother that it's gonna become and the easier it is to be working with. Once it's all kneaded together, well, that's where your imagination comes into play. You can pick off a piece 
and roll it out into a snake. You can roll it into a ball. I can form my letters with it again. I can make a sculpture. I can do anything that my imagination tells me would look nice. I think I'm going to make a flower for springtime. Do you like flowers in springtime? I think that's my favorite part of spring. They smell so good and they make me really happy. Can you see any flowers outside your window? What's your favorite flower? My favorite flower is over on my table right now. I like yellow roses with pink petal tips. They smell so good and they look really pretty. Hmm, I already have an S. Maybe I'll spell out the word spring. S P R I N letter is a G. And just for fun, I'll do a big exclamation point. Your extra salt dough <clears throat> can be kept in an airtight container for the next time you want to craft. And you can either bake or leave your 
salt dough to air dry. I hope you have fun today, my friends. Bye.